Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have Phage from the Venom uh, Pool Wave. Um, so here he is from the front. Here's the side art for you, looks cool. Here's the back, if you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's the figures in the wave to make Venom Pool. Uh, the other side, same artwork. Uh, and then you get the Venom logo. Uh, furnished on the top and then not much on the bottom but besides the dcpi for you but besides that let's crack them open and here's phage out of the packaging here so he comes with both of venom pulls legs here we'll go over that once we're done with the other figures in the wave uh and then the accessory that he comes with is his blade so this looks pretty cool you have that nice like gold looking paint there and then like the black symbiote around the edges here which is pretty cool and then you get this like it's very uh soft plastic here so you can bend it a little bit but uh yeah and then you get this little peg here which i will show you how to put them on here in a bit but i like this blade a lot it looks really cool it looks really cool um but besides that that's all he's got for accessories here so here's fade drip close um so i like the i like the new head sculpt uh, the head sculpt for him it looks real cool i like it a lot i like the details on it the eyes look real cool it looks like they blend in together i'm not sure if in the comics it does that but yeah and then his mouth is wide open you get that little i don't know what you call that um and you see his tongue back there teeth look real good you can see a little bit of red in there but it's not gonna bother me a whole lot you get the nice black details around the eyes and the mouth here. So that's cool. Not much else in the back here. And then here's the torso for you guys. So you get the more black detail. It's just, uh, the, I think the first paint is just whatever you want to call this gold or yellow, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, so you get a bunch of black detailing throughout the back, shoulders, arms, and you get these like spikes here like Batman, <laughs> um, which look like are just glued on there. So don't take them off. Same deal on the other side. And you get more black detailing there. His claws, I think they should have added a little bit of black detailing through the hand too. I think we've seen these hands, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not quite sure actually. Um, and then you get this oh yeah this piece is a separate piece so it has a peg hole in his back there and then you just want to plug that in if you want to uh, and then here's the legs so not much going on with the thighs or anything besides the shins or whatever you want to call the side here he has these black spikes here uh, with a little bit more black detailing i think they should add a little bit of detailing throughout the rest of the legs too but it's also not going to bother me a whole bunch. Uh, but this looks, this guy looks real cool. I like him a lot. Um, but let's go over his articulation here. So you can look down that far. Up very far. Really good. Uh, you can look left and right. Uh, head pivoting zero of it. Uh, his shoulders can move low past 90 degrees there. You get shoulder rotation. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel here. He has double jointed elbows. If I can get that other one. Yeah, it only goes that far. Um, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, he has an ab crunch, so you can get him to go forward that much. Um, him to go forward this much. Uh, he can go backwards that much. He has a... Uh, hip swivel so you can get him to go 360 around there his legs could kick out just a little bit forward quite a bit backwards a little bit but not a whole lot he does have a thigh cut he has double joints and knees he has a shin cut his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot 
And for his blade, you just want to pop off, I think, either one, yeah, either one of his hands, so like this. And then you just want to pop this bad boy in like this. Make sure, I guess, make sure that this is kind of over these pieces here, I think. I think it should just go right in. Or maybe it doesn't go right over. Yeah, it does. And then, bam, you get him with this blade there. I like it. I like that a lot. That looks actually real cool. That looks sick. So there's Phage Free. He looks, he looks cool. I think they just could have added a little bit more paint apps in there. I think I get a little bit of marbling on this arm there, but it's not going to bother me too. And it looks iffy when you have just the hand in there. I think they should have added a little bit more detailing through the hands. But then when you put the blade on, he just looks sick. So I'm just going to have him with the blade on most of the time, I think. Um, but yeah, I think this guy looks awesome. But besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have car pages. Christian's car page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's car page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that, and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.